guys got another box opening today um, this doll came basically from a very very long way she came from the UK I purchased her on eBay and she just arrived it took just a little over a week uh, moved pretty fast I'm surprised and um, it is a retired doll from Ashton Drake um, I've had my eye on her. I have seen her circulating a little bit, um, but she's becoming a little bit more rare. And I think um, her circulation will probably end at some point because um, the price on her is going up, I'm noticing. So anyway, I figured I should add her to my collection before she's gone forever. And then she's like a daddy's girl, but you just can't find her. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started, guys. Hey guys, so um, this is Panels Picture Perfect Baby. And um, she's really beautiful. She has some really nice pretty hair. She is from this lady's grandma that I bought her from. And what I loved about her was her gummy um, mouth. I, I really like this detail on this doll. It's a very realistic look to what a baby's mouth looks like before the teeth come in. Wow, look at her eyelashes, guys. She's got beautiful eyelashes. She is nice and big. She's, I think this doll's about 21 or 22 inches. She's nice and big, guys. That's one thing about the Ashton Drakes, which I'd mentioned that I feel like most of their dolls are fairly small. Um, oh, sweet. So she does have a little bracelet that she came with. Isn't that adorable? Um, Emily. And, which is interesting. I think that's the name of the uh, reborn that I just bought. Okay, guys, since she is a vintage doll, um, I wanted to look at her paperwork again because um, I am not familiar with what she comes with, but this bracelet that says the name um, does come with her and I love bracelets on babies. In fact, I bought a brace. I bought a doll that was supposed to come with a bracelet now that I think about it and she wasn't delivered with one. Well, that's a letdown. So anyway, so this is her. Here, I'm taking her hair net all the way off and she's really cute. Her hair's in wonderful condition. It is rooted. It is longer and um, nice and wavy. I like that. This reminds me of the Beach Baby hairstyle, guys, where they have just kind of like the top point. Um, it's actually really funny. My baby pictures, my mom used to style my hair that way. Um, wow, she's real pretty, guys. I really like this doll. She's gorgeous. Love her bracelet. So I think she has come basically with everything she's supposed to, according to the photo with the exception of socks. And um, from the pictures online, it looks like um, the socks that she come, that she wore originally um, are socks that I actually have, something similar. So that won't be a problem if I wanted to put her back in her original form. Her feet are nice and big. She's, not, she's a great size, guys. I, was, I bet you this baby wears zero to three. Um, but she's real pretty. Her up a little bit because she does have armature in her. She is nicely weighted. Oh, I love her size. Ashton Drake, please make all your babies this size. This is like the perfect size. Yeah, very cute baby girl. So the details on her outfit are super cute. She has kind of this vintage cotton dress and um, a long sleeve um, top underneath it. It's got some pretty appliques on it. And um, I just, wow, her hair is one of the best I've seen for these stall guys because um, she, I've seen a few of these for sale on eBay and, um, and the hair isn't in the greatest shape. That is part of the reason why I bought her. You can tell the person that had her prior did not comb her hair a lot, which is good because it actually um, breaks the hair down I noticed and it makes it frizzy faster so the m less you actually run a comb through your doll's hair really the better shape it'll be in if you can kind of just 
um, use your hands to put it into place. That's really the best bet. Um, in her paperwork, I just found this little note that does say that she has special care instructions and that um, her hand, her hair is hand rooted. So, um, and to pay um, extra care when changing her clothing or styling her hair. So, that might be why the hair is so beautiful, but let's take a look at it, guys. I want to see if it's apparent, because it is kind of usually noticeable when, it, when it's factory rooted, but um, it is fairly even, but no, it's not perfect like you would see from a factory doll, like the actual perfect holes and rows and um, so yeah, that must be true. I didn't know um, Ashton Drake hand roots their doll's hairs. Well guys, she's an older doll, so they may have taken a little bit more care before. She has like some um, marks in her forehead, which I think is intentional because I think I've seen it on the other dolls and that kind of makes her look, her face look a little bit more realistic. Um, she's got really pretty ears you guys she's the perfect size I really like this doll size if Ashton Drake would make every doll this size or at least many of the dolls I think they it would appeal to a lot more people um, because some of their dolls are just a little too itty bitty okay guys I went ahead and redressed her and um, she had a little bit of a musty odor um, from what I understand, the person I bought it from, she did um, get, get it from her grandmother, so I don't know if it was part of an estate um, sale or, or not. I didn't ask, but it was it did belong to her nan. So um, so I went ahead and added um, put some, some scented oil on her um, and just a very small amount and rubbed her down and, and threw her hair in her body and it took the musty smell off. I went ahead and stripped down all her clothes that she had. I'll need to wash them, but um, I did put on this little vintage outfit I already have and um, I just brushed her hair out with a toothbrush and kind of just fluffed it with my fingers a little bit to kind of refresh it and um, I ran the um, center pack along her hair, so her hair smells nice and good. So um, she's all set, she's refreshed. She has a brand new little clean outfit on that she looks great in. Okay guys, I wanted to insert a clip of her size and to, next to a couple of the other Ashton Drake babies. I didn't pull in um, a couple that I have that I don't think were relevant because the size of some is capturing. So we know Littlest Sweetheart is um, as my smallest baby, guys. Um, she is a little smaller than Nora. So I wanted to show you guys how this doll is in comparison size-wise to the rest of the dolls. And you can see she's quite a bit larger than um, Daddy's little girl. And she's um, even still larger in um, height than, um, than Beach Baby. Beach Baby is more robust, but height-wise, she's a lot larger. So, I mean, it looks like inches. I believe Beach Baby was only 18 or 19 inches at the most, but she's so robust, she really feels large. Um, but her, she's so petite and feminine. I love her look, you guys. She's so super sweet to me. I just pierced her ears. I put her in a pretty outfit. Um, I accessorized her with a little passy in her hand since it seems natural with her hand up like that. So I know it's always helpful, guys, for me to pull in other dolls to help um, give perspective on um, how the doll that I'm reviewing um, lines up size-wise. So um, I just wanted to do that for you guys, but I'm really, really super happy with her. She's beautiful and a feminine, pretty little girl. Um, big girl, really, but she's very, very feminine. I really like that about her. Um, her hair is wonderful. I love the expression on her face and the gummy smile that she's got. And um, yeah, so I gave her some pierced ears. I thought it matched her bracelet really pretty. And she's just a little doll. Like she is a little beautiful baby girl. I'm really happy with her. So um, that's it, you guys. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Take care.